My name is Kamal Chara. I'm a medical oncologist and a professor of medicine and the chief of genital urinary oncology at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Really, when we talk about hormone therapy uh, for the treatment of prostate cancer, to put it very simplistically, it is really uh, knocking down levels of testosterone. So testosterone is the main fuel for prostate cancer, and the main goal of hormone therapy in prostate cancer is to deprive the cancer of the fuel, meaning the testosterone. Now, the main source of testosterone is the testes. 97, 98% of testosterone produced in the body comes from there. And initially what we do is we block the testes, typically chemically, essentially depriving the prostate cancer of its primary or main fuel. So if we look at where all we use hormone therapy in prostate cancer, I, I think the way to look at this is, are we using it in advanced disease or are we using it in locally advanced disease? So in the, in the setting of locally advanced disease, really what we're doing is we're trying to cure the cancer. But in the more advanced setting, when the, when the cancer is spread or when the horse is outside the barn, uh, in that setting it controls. So, so I think if you look at the whole spectrum of side effects, you know, you can actually categorize them into what you see, what you don't see, and what you feel. And, and so what you don't see are the metabolic side effects. You know, what you see are the physical side effects that you see. And then what you feel are, are the side effects uh, that have to do with cognition and processing and thinking. We've had a lot of advances in prostate cancer treatment. Uh, as we treat prostate cancer more, we, we realize there are different subsets. But at the end of the day, the bread and butter of treatment is still dealing with the testosterone. So you can either wipe out testosterone or you can block the androgen receptor. So they're really two sides of the same coin. And the truth is all the treatments that we have are actually layered on blocking the testes. That is still the foundation of the bread and butter, at least as we understand prostate cancer today.